We have looked at the document that they have prepared as a coalition agreement. We have not been given that document to go through. We have been shown, some of our people have been shown, and we are not even allowed to, to look at it for a long time, and we expected to sign to it. And in the document, they are forming a leadership head of just Jubilee, ODM, and WIPA, and then they are the ones to decide who the rest of us where we will fit and who among us will fit, and we are not in agreement uh, to that. We also have problems with clauses that we believe in the nomination structure will lead towards zoning. We as political parties, we are here to win elections, and we've already recruited many people and we've told them that we will be going all the way to the ballot. So we don't want to be caught up in a nomination process. We do feel that we have not been consulted Decisions are being made, including the recent decision being made that Azimio will have a secretariat for nominations led by my good friend on Rafael Tuju. We are seeing it in the media. We are supposed to be coalition partners making decisions together. It seems that uh, there is first among equals and the rest of us. And uh, we are saying that uh, it looks like they have appointed themselves uh, the ones who have certain positions, and the rest of us, either we take it or we leave it. But we are saying that we have committed ourselves to Azimio, mm -hmm. and we'd like to be able to move forward together, but in a very respectful manner. So as a result of our meeting today, we've come up with various, uh, pre, uh, what do you call them? Decisions that uh, will be read uh, by Mweshmiwa over here. Yes, uh, what, what uh, the caucus meeting has decided is that uh, we should, when, when, when they sign a document implying that they, this is a three-legged stool, it should actually be a four-legged table. Uh, the fourth leg of that table, and we should be recognized as such. Uh, so the, in that, that means that that document needs to be renegotiated to ensure that our interests are taken care of as the fourth leg of the of the Azimio coalition, and uh, the same in the same way that they have introduced zoning through some techni technical language, we want it to be renegotiated and done away with. As Governor Mutu has just explained, we have our candidates spread out throughout the country, and we cannot subject them to that zoning uh, pro program that they are trying to bring. Then the, the decision as to who becomes the deputy president or the running mate to, the, to, to Raila Molo Odinga, all the parties here called their NDCs, and the NDCs resolved to back Raila Molo Odinga for presidency. Similarly, we expect the same NDCs to, to give the name of who will be the running mate, not a decision by a few people. The running mate will have to be named by the same people that named the presidential flag bearer. And this, this needs consensus, and we are saying that we must be listened to so that we can also be part of the coalition wholly, and our, our interests must be taken care of, because it should be known that time is running out, but we still have options, which we can, we can invoke at any time. So we, we expect that uh, we should be, whatever is being done, should be more inclusive, more consultative than what's going on so far. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any questions or do you have, uh, we can maybe have an addition, Professor? I think we have covered everything. We've covered everything. Maybe we can get another word also. Um, Good to say the name. And I'm, I'm Felipe Saja, uh, the Secretary General of uh, Chama Chavuzalendo. Uh, I concur with my colleagues as leaders of other political parties. We supported Azimio political parties as equal partners. And we we, we, we request that uh, uh, the Azimio team should work as a group, not as uh, a situation whereby we are uh, uh, some parties uh, looking at others as uh, uh, small uh, partners or small, small boys. The only thing we'll want is that going forward from today, that there should be consensus in terms of uh, any issues that are raised and decisions taken. 
there must be a real partnership whereby the partners within Azimio are recognized in every decision that are taken. And as our partners have said, it's very clear that uh, uh, we have options. And if uh, we are not uh, listened to, uh, we'll be forced to take that option that uh, we'll agree as a team. This is the fourth-legged uh, team table, and uh, we are just uh, calling on our friends that uh, they should listen to us, and we only have 48 hours uh, to agree on a position. If that position is not taken, then uh, we will make a decision within the same same 48 hours. Yes, thank you. My name is Munena Kahiro Chairman KRP, that is Kenya Reform Party, Kenya Reform Party. We also strongly feel that uh, the source sacred document called uh, the agreement has not been made public to the political parties that signed it. It is now imperative that it is the contents of the documents should be disclosed so that the parties make uh, a very informed decision. Because we are agreed we are in a Zimio party, as political parties, we called our respective NDCs and endorsed whom to support as the presidential candidate. So in that spirit also, whatever we sign for should be made public to us and we should go through it. And if possible, I made the clauses that we feel are not justified to be, uh, to be placed within uh, the particular clauses. For example, the people that are supposed to make decisions, the 11 people, so-called people to make a decision on behalf of the parties, this legged stool of three has not incorporated the parties present here. And we feel we are left out. So what happens is that we also make known that we are the fourth leg of the stool and we are there to support Azimio, but our interests should be taken care of. Maybe, maybe I can say something. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meeting of the political parties gathered here, a unanimous decision was taken that we have now formed the Mwanzo Mpia uh, caucus. And uh, we, therefore, uh, wish that this caucus is inscribed in the coalition uh, party uh, agreement so that there are four uh, caucuses. Uh, initially, this was a caucus that was recognized because even at KCC, during negotiations with the president, the former prime minister, and others, uh, this caucus was, uh, even information was allowed to representatives uh, in the apex body of uh, Azimio. Uh, so at least today we have now uh, farmed up in terms of uh, uh, making that firm decision uh, of uh, Mwanzo uh, Mpia uh, uh, caucus. Uh, we are cognizant of the fact that before other people who are now asking to be at the front seat of Azimio, uh, when some people had doubts about Azimio, we sacrificed uh, to be founding partners within Azimio. And we actually, some of us actually gave up our presidential ambitions because we believed uh, Raila, given his history, was the candidate to be supported. And we worked reasonably hard throughout the you know, various parts of the country to popularize both Azimio and the Raila's 
uh, candidature. So in our meeting, we felt that we can't be wished away uh, uh, because of uh, our work initially and our continuing work even up to today. Yes, some people call us small parties, uh, but one important aspect to bear in mind is you never know which party is small and which party is big until after the elections when you see the results. And uh, we are confident that uh, the parties in uh, Mwanzo Mpia uh, will make a mark this year in uh, the elections. Uh, so uh, we still reiterate uh, that we supported uh, Raila as a matter of principle we supported him even without demanding, <laughs> even without demanding positions as some of the people are, because what was important for us uh, initially was we wanted the manifestos or law of all the participating parties in Azimio to be aggregated. Uh, so that our people would say, our parties have come with the best manifesto, development manifesto for Kenya. That was primary for us. It was not like we were asking Raila for uh, this position or that position. That was secondary. And, and, and that is therefore, in terms of Mwanzo Mpia, uh, Mwanzo Mpia uh, caucus, uh, we feel that uh, we deserve a choice place in Azimio, and that is why we are talking about um, a table of four legs. And if some people are stuck on stools, it can also be a stool of four legs because we need to modernize our thinking in terms of uh, where we come from culturally. Uh, finally, uh, as has been stated, all these parties here have candidates because the 26th of March was the month for uh, people to say which parties they will belong to for purposes of uh, the elections of August. Uh, therefore, in law, the candidates that we have attracted have a right to be in the ballot uh, in August 2022. We cannot tell them that uh, they cannot be. They have paid. They, you know, they have. They are in, within our parties, and we cannot tell them now at this juncture to get out. So, we know that in some instances, we may have to negotiate uh, so that we don't lose a seat because of Azimio candidates uh, uh, crowding each other. But in such few circumstances. All the participating parties must reach a consensus. Uh, we don't want that decision taken outside the consensus of the participating parties. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Thank you.